Okay, so we went over the discussion earlier as to what's about to happen. Okay, this might take two tries, but Pascal's principle says that if I apply a pressure to a liquid that's not moving, um, that same pressure increase is going to be transmitted equally everywhere, right? But that says nothing about the force, right? I apply it with a certain amount of force here, but because the area is different down here, right? I have a smaller area up top, a larger area at the bottom. When we look at our equations and we manipulate them, we see that the force is actually increased. It's magnified, right? Amplified, not magnified, okay? So we're going to try this, okay? So I'm going to hold, and if I hit it hard enough, what's going to happen is I'm going to affect the air molecules that are just above. That change in pressure is going to be transmitted to the liquid, which is transmitted equally everywhere. And then if all goes well, the bottom should pop, or at least it should break. Okay? Ready? Your ears closed. It's not going to be loud. Don't worry. It's just like glass breaking. Will go my eyes? Okay. Might take two tries. Maybe three. I'm going to do Maybe a little five. bit lower so it doesn't get thing in there. Hey. 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 Okay, so almost well. If I had put pillows, maybe it would be a clean break, but it broke inside the yeah. sink. But you can see it totally knocked the bottom off because even though the pressure might be small here, right, transmitted because of the area, the force is amplified greatly, right? In our example on the board with just a random. Um, force that we input into the equation, you saw that it was multiplied by two and a half times, right? So, so it went from a force of 10 newtons to 25 newtons, and that's enough force to break the, uh, the bottom. So and if anybody tells, about, tells you about this uh, trick, you now understand the physics behind it.